Hello and welcome back to another Python tutorial. My name is Tom with LearnPythonTutorial.com and today I'm going to fix something I forgot to add into our previous uh, tutorial and that's how to access the reference counter in an object. So to do this we need to fire up our Python interpreter. Python, oh, I got to be on it. Python, Python 3. Hit turn, fire, fire, up our, fire up our Python 3 interpreter and first things first we're going to create an object a is equal to some ridiculous string you can use whatever object you want i just want mine to be unique hit return next thing we need to do is import a software package and we're going to do that by doing import and we're going to do um system so software package system and we're going to do system dot get ref get ref count and we're going to put our variable in there, hit return, and that's how we access the object. So what's happening here? First off, we create an object, or a variable, that's referencing an object, that, uh, some stupid string here. Then we import um, some software package from Python. So it imports it. And then down here on this line, we're going into the system software package. We're looking for a built-in function called get ref count. And we're saying, hey, return the reference count of the object A to us. And it will return 2. Now you might be saying, well, it's only reference once. A is pointing to this ridiculous long string. That's the reference. And I only see it once. Well, actually, this is referencing it too. So what you need to do when using this method is to actually subtract this by one and that will equal its reference one time all right i just wanted to use that cool drawing tool tool i haven't used it before all right so it's only i referenced once because this kind of gets eliminated here because we don't really care because we put this in there all right let's look at another mess method and we gotta import another software package called garbage collection so we import uh, GC and we import GC and then we're gonna call length which is a built-in function into Python not GC itself and then we're gonna do GC which is a built-in function or GC which is a software package and then we're gonna call a built-in function git refers Refers, and we're going to do A, and we're going to close out our length. So what's going on here? We import the garbage collection uh, software, and then we are calling a build-in function of Python length on our garbage collection software, build-in function get refers, and A. So what this actually returns here is a um, dictionary. That includes a and then as a key and then our object here. All right, so that's what that returns to us. Hit return. It says one time. We can actually see the dictionary being returned to us if we do gc get refers and put a in there. And da, 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 da. here's the dictionary starting here. It ends all the way down here. All this other stuff is just building software to make things happen. Right here is our reference. A is referencing our object here. So when it counts it, it's eliminating everything beyond this point and it's referring or uh, returning one to us. Okay? So that's pretty cool, right? So what happens if I do um, GC? Oh, actually, I want to make it a one. B equals. Uh, take this whole mama jama up here, copy it paste it. If you're on Windows, that's a little bit more difficult to do. If you're on a Mac, it's pretty simple. Um, so I'm creating another reference to our object here. Same object. Hit return. So we create it. Let me just slide up my terminal a little bit so you can see this a little bit better. And what I want to do is get GC, get refers, and put A in here again. Hit Turn. Now we got A here, the key, referring to this object. B here, 
this key referring to this object. Now I want you to see what happens here, because this could be a little confusing. Uh, we're going to go up and do length again. So if we do length, gc, get refers a get return. Uh, one. Wait a second. What do you mean one? What about b? Length, gc, get refers. Sorry, I gotta say it like that because I spell it wrong all the time. Get return. Um, one. Okay. Uh, but it's referenced twice. Now look at this. Length GC get refers. Now we're gonna paste our string in there, or object I should say. Hit return two. Okay. So this can be a bit confusing. So for this to work properly and for you to get the correct number, let me just clean my screen up here. And I'm just gonna run the last command one more time. We get two. My suggestion when running this, uh, the length GC get refers, is always put the actual object in here because you'll get the actual count, okay? Uh, since we created another object, let's do the previous one one more time. System get ref count, and we're gonna paste our object in here. Hit return, and now we got four. See, now it can be getting confusing. Why do we have four? Well, I deleted the previous reason. So remember, we have to subtract one here, and we're gonna have to subtract another one because we actually referenced it twice like this. All right, and then we have to add our two, our A variable and our B variable, they're referencing it. So you see what's happening there? It gets a little confusing. Alright, so when trying to figure this out, best method is GC get refers and paste in your object, close out your length and your uh, your object or your function here. Hit return, we get two. Best way to do it. Alright, so if you have any questions about this, leave a comment on YouTube or on our website at learnpythontutorial.com. I hope this cleared up things and didn't confuse you. But these are the two methods to get the refers count, or the actual count of refers in an object. And like I said, that um, this is the most accurate method. And always to get the most accurate, put your object, actual value of your object in here, and you'll get that count. Alright, have a nice day, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.